Students, this is Sridham Shastri. Once again, I welcome you back to my new video session. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about the classification of the hemichord data. So, hemichord data is being classified. If you talk about the living classes, there are two living classes of hemichord data, which I have written on the board here. You can just see. The first one is the enteropneusta, and the second one is pterobrachia. Okay, this piece are pterobrachia and enteropneusta. So the word enteropneusta refers to gut breathers. Okay, enteron refers to gut, and if we talk about neusta, refers to the breathing animal. So they breathe from their gut. It seems like that, and that's the reason why they have been named as enteropneusta. So if we talk about the characters of this class, it's very similar to the previous general characters of it. The body is worm-like, elongated, cylindrical, body is divisible into proboscis, collar and trunk. Collar does not have any ciliated arms. Ciliary arms are absent in the collar. So they are either solitary, they are some of them are free living and commonly termed as acorn worms or tongue worms. Acorn worms or tongue worms. So here, if you talk about the gill slits, gill slits are U-shaped and they are present. Gill slits are present for breathing. They are U-shaped gill slits are there. Along with that, if you talk about the other characters, that is, they have circulatory system, which is open type with dorsal heart. Then they have a protocordate like chemical char sorry, characteristic, which is generally notochord-like structure, but it's not a notochord. That is the diverticulum extending the proboscis. Then if you talk about the dorsal hollow nerve cord is present in them numerous gonads sac like gonads are present in their body okay they are having sac like numerous gonads in their body sexes are separate fertilization is external and most of them are having two types of development methods either direct or indirect those which have direct there is nothing to be discussed about them those which have indirect development they are having the larva called a stornaria larva. Examples of this particular order includes balanoglossus, sacroglossus, pteroglossus, sorry, protoglossus and tychodera. There are several others also. These are some of the examples. The next class which we will be discussing is about pterobrachia. So here if you talk about the word that is the pterobrachia, the word pterobrachia refers to tero means uh, the uh, what you call as feather and brachion refers to gills. So feather like gills are present in them. So it's called as pterobrachia. Now again, if you talk about the characters of this, again, they are marine forms, their body is also worm like, but here there is some differences. Okay. In these animals, the collar was present and the collar did not had ciliary arms. Whereas in pterobrachia, the collar, proboscis, collar and trunk is there. They have a stalk also. The stalk is with respect to it helps in attaching the body to the substratum okay so for attachment it, they have a stalk and they have a ciliary arms in the collar region this is a difference between them then if you talk about this this category okay they are having u-shaped gills but here u-shaped gills are not present they have only what you call as uh, longitudinal gills now again if you talk about the gills here the gills are one or absent single gill is present or completely absent in them then secondly if you talk about the other characteristics of them that is digestive system here digestive system was straight and they had uh, anus and mouth at opposite ends but here the anus and mouth open at similar region or same side because the digestive system is u-shaped digestive system here digestive system is u-shaped and here gills are u-shaped Clear. Here also remaining things is common that is reproduction but difference is in gonad. Again gonad is either single gonad or only one pair of gonad. In pterobrachia they have single gonad or one pair of gonad. Examples I have written already here. The rhabdopleura is there, uh, then the cephalodiscus is there and atubaria is there. These are some of the examples we can quote for it. Again they are subdivided into orders, different orders. Okay. So orders, we are not uh, much in detail to be discussed here in this particular video. This particularly I'm making it for BSc degree and for higher degrees, we need orders. In some other video, we'll discuss about that. For today, we'll stop this video here itself. Thank you.